Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Rashida Kanchwala. All of you must have rejoiced fruits. The beautiful color and flavor of fruits are deriving factors towards them. Today I am going to teach you about different colors in fruits and their dietary importance. After going through this module, you will be able to get knowledge about cause of different colors of fruits, differentiate between different colors of fruit, know about pigments of nutritional importance, no other important non-nutritional functions of color pigments in fruits. The dietary importance of fruits are not only due to their nutrients, but they possess an important position in our diet due to some other components called non-nutrients that are of enormous interest with regard to health. These non-nutrients which are termed as phytochemicals have important physiological properties and are therefore considered bioactive substances. Among these phytochemicals, some stand out because in addition of having beneficial properties, they give fruits and vegetables their color which are termed as color pigments. Pigments are molecules that absorb a specific wavelength of light and reflect all others. The light reflected goes back to our eyes and perceived as color because of the reaction of different pigments with different spectrum ranges there are many types of color and there is a need to produce many kinds of pigment in plant each of different color to capture more of sun's energy in a given fruit there are always more than one type of pigment Conglomeration of different pigments at different concentrations provides a specific color to fruit which is its distinguishing color like cherry red, mango yellow, lemon yellow etc. There are varieties of plant pigments which can broadly be classified as chlorophylls, carotenoids, flavonoids and betalins. Let me discuss one by one. First of all, let me come to chlorophylls. Chlorophylls are the most widely distributed plant pigments. They are responsible for the characteristic green color of fruits and vegetables. The chlorophylls are the principal pigment of plant which are used to drive photosynthesis. Hence, they are the most important plant pigments. Chlorophylls are found in nearly all plants. They are located in the inner membranes of chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are the organelles within plant cells which perform photosynthesis. The major chlorophylls in foods are chlorophyll A and B which are typically found in vegetables in approximate ratio of 3 is to 1. Chlorophyll is abundant in raw fruits. In most of the mature fruits, most of the chlorophyll breaks down to form red, yellow and brown colored compounds known as keratinoids and xanthophylls or colorless non-fluorescent fluorescing chlorophyll catabolites. Appearance of these colorless non-fluorescing chlorophyll catabolites is also a sign of ripening of fruit because it froze, ripens, photosynthesis stops. Therefore, the disappearance of the color green and the simultaneous appearance of these other colors signals the ripening of fruit. Along with stoppage of photosynthesis, these metabolites are highly active antioxidants which makes them potentially very healthy. Unripe fruits are green 
because of their chlorophyll in ripe fruit these non chlorophyll metabolites replace the chlorophyll with a resultant disappearance of green color and appearance of yellow orange and red color in their peel and flesh let we know about carotenoids carotenoids and flavonoids are the chief pigments of fruits carotene includes several related compounds having the general formula of c40h56 carotenoids are yellow orange or red pigments synthesized by many plants within a plant cell carotenoids are found in the membrane of plastids organelles surrounded by characteristic double membrane carotenes are accessory pigments to photosynthesis they transmits the light energy they absorb to chlorophyll for the for to be used for photosynthesis they also protect plant tissues by helping to absorb the energy from singlet oxygen which is an excited form of the oxygen molecule which is formed due to uh, during photosynthesis the carotenoids has conjugated double bonds which are responsible for, for light absorption and color production in fruits they have more number of double bonds which results in the more absorbance of red color wavelength and therefore more intense colors carotenoids in fruits are generally found in combination with chlorophyll or xanthophylls the binding of carotenoids to chlorophyll and xanthophylls can give rise to a variety of colors in plants fruits and vegetables as fruit matures these combinations changes as the chlorophyll content decreases and result in more colored carotenoid pigments similarly in many fruits chloroplasts convert to chromoplast as fruit ripens chromoplasts are plastids other than chloroplasts that produce and store pigments chromoplasts are found in flowers leaves roots and ripe fruits they contain carotenoids so that there is a change in color from green to red orange or yellow carotenoids are important factors in human health also in human body beta carotene is broken down by beta carotene dioxygenase in the mucosa of a small intestine into two retinyl molecules which is later reduced to vitamin a carotene uh, are found to be protective against serious disorders such as cancer heart disease and degenerative eye diseases this has stimulated intense research into the role of carotenoids as antioxidants and as regulators of the immune response system carotenoids can be broadly classified into two classes first one is carotenes carotenes are carotenoids without oxygen and second one is xanthophylls these are carotenoids with oxygen let me discuss carotenes Several isomeric forms of carotenoids are found in fruits such as alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon and zeta. Coloration of fruits and vegetables depends on their growth, maturity, concentration of carotenoid, isomers and food processing method. There are many factors influencing the formation and isomerization of carotenoids. heat light and structural differences are the prominent factors that affect the isomerization of carotenoids in fruits chief carotenes are alpha beta gamma carotene and lycopene the chief carotene is beta carotene which occurs as an orange pigment while alpha carotene is a yellow pigment which can be found in fruits and vegetable Delta carotene pigment is red orange in color and astaxanthin is a red colored pigment. Beta carotene and lycopene are most important carotenoids of fruit which have distinct physiological functions in humans. Beta carotene is composed of two retinyl groups and is broken down in the mucosa of the human small intestine into retinal a form of vitamin a human liver has a capacity to store vitamin a and beta carotene it can also be stored in body fat and used when needed 
beta carotene contains two beta anion ring whereas alpha carotene and gamma carotene contains single beta anion ring resultantly beta carotene has double vitamin a activity than both of them xanthophyll carotenoid beta carotenoid also possesses single beta anion ring therefore it is also a vitamin of vitamin a besides these carotenoids all, all other carotenoids have no beta anion and thus no vitamin a activity but they are biologically active substances useful for body for their antioxidant activity in fruits and vegetables beta carotene is found to be bound to either chlorophyll or xanthophyll forming chlorophyll carotenoid complexes which absorb light in the orange or red light spectrum and give rise to green purple or blue coloration in fruits beta carotene in fruits has higher bioavailability as compared to vegetable as chloroplast of fruits has been transformed into chromoplast there is reduced presence of protein complex structures in fruit this transformation makes fruits more digestible than vegetables hence beta carotene from fruits is more bioavailable than vegetables next important carotenoid in fruits is lycopene lycopene is an unsaturated acyclic carotenoid with open straight chain hydrocarbon it consists of 11 conjugated and 2 unconjugated double bond as there is no terminal acyclic structure and beta anion ring is not present in it it lacks pro vitamin a activity hence it is not a vitamin of vitamin a as lycopene has more conjugated double bonds it absorbs more visible as spectrum compared to other carotenes resultantly it has got more of the red hue lycopene has two more double bonds than beta carotene hence it appears red most of the lycopene occurs naturally in all trans forms the all trans isomers of lycopene is the most predominant geometrical isoform isomer in fruits and vegetable lycopene has many isomers seven double bonds of lycopene can be isomerized to mono cis or poly cis isomer lycopene cis isomers are more soluble in oil or organic solvents than all trans lycopene lycopene isomerization occurs under the simulated gastric digestion thermal processing and low ph heating at 60 degree centigrade and 80 degree centigrade also favors the isomerization of lycopene the formation of different lycopene isomers depends upon ph and temperatures 9 cis lycopene is formed at low ph conditions while 13 cis lycopene is formed as a degradation product from thermal processing of lycopene lycopene is a powerful antioxidant that may help protect cells from damage therefore it is used for preventing heart diseases hardening of arteries and cancer of prostate breast lung bladder ovaries colon and pancreas let me come to xanthophylls xanthophylls are the oxidized derivatives of carotenes as xanthophylls contains more hydroxyl groups they are more polar than carotenes naturally most of xanthophylls are yellow orange colored in nature xanthophylls are found in the leaf of most plants and are synthesized within the plastids which occur as yellow to red color pigments xanthophylls are generally accessory pigments which are present along with anthocyanins and carotenes commonly found xanthophylls include lutein zeaxanthin and cryptoxanthin in plant voloxanthin anthracyanthin and zeaxanthin participate in xanthophyll cycle which involves the conversion of pigment from a non energy quenching form to 
energy quenching forms as animals cannot produce xanthophylls xanthophylls found in animals are known to be ingested from food the chief xanthophylls in plants are lutein zeaxanthin and cryptoxanthin lutein is one kind of xanthophyll found abundantly in fruits and vegetables it is a fat soluble compound and very stable in emulsions although lutein and zeaxanthin are isomers but they are not stereo isomers both of them are interconvertible and are present within each other so uh, with each other so they are typically reported as lutein and zeaxanthin or lutein plus zeaxanthin lutein and zeaxanthin they are not pro vitamin a carotenoids lutein can absorb blue light it appears as yellow color while zeaxanthin appears yellow orange color both of them are found in most of the fruits and vegetable lutein is mostly the pigment of vegetables of yellow and green color its present in fruits is comparatively low but some fruits such as papaya and persimmon have high amounts of lutein and zeaxanthin like that found in vegetables watermelon and raw pink grape fruits are also good sources of lutein and zeaxanthin numerous studies have identified lutein and zeaxanthin to be essential for eye health their role in human health in particular the health of the eye is well established they are the main pigment of yellow spot of human retina which protects the macula from damage by blue light improves visual acuity and scavenges harmful reactive oxygen species they have also been linked with reduced risk of age related macular degeneration and cataract valaxanthin and neoxanthin are biosynthesized from zeaxanthin through different chemical reactions the chemical formula of valaxanthin is c40h56o4 it is a natural xanthophyll pigment with an orange color it is found in a variety of plants including pansies it is biosynthesized from zeaxanthin by epoxidation as a food additive it is used under the e number e161 e as a food coloring agent neoxanthin has a chemical formula c40h56o4 it is a major xanthophyll found in green leafy vegetable such as spinach in plants it is an intermediate product in the bio synthesis of the plant hormone abicic acid enzyme neoxanthin synthetase converts valaxanthin to neoxanthin under the xanthophyll flavoxanthin chemical formula is c40h56o3 flavoxanthin is a natural xanthophyll pigment with a golden yellow color it is found in small quantities in a variety of plants as a food additive it is used under the e number e161a as a food coloring yet another xanthophyll cryptoxanthin bears a chemical formula c40h56o and is closely related to beta carotene but it has got an additional hydroxyl group in a pure form cryptoxanthin is a red crystalline solid with a metallic luster it is freely soluble in chloroform benzene pyridine and carbon disulfide it is found in orange rind papaya egg yolk butter and apples cryptoxanthins are another types of yellow carotenoids alpha cryptoxanthin is a yellow carotenoid pigment while beta cryptoxanthin is orange in color beta cryptoxanthin like alpha and beta cryptoxanthin is a pro vitamin a carotenoid the vitamin a activity of beta cryptoxanthin from food is 1 by 24 that of retinol so it would take 24 mg of beta cryptoxanthin from food to provide the equivalent of 1 mg of retinol orange and red fruit and vegetables like sweet red 
peppers and oranges are rich sources of beta cryptosantin beta cryptosantin has relatively high bioavailability from its common food sources to the extent that some beta cryptosantin rich foods might be equivalent to beta carotene rich foods as sources of retinol beta cryptosantin is an antioxidant and it is associated with decreased risk of some cancers and degenerative diseases many animal models and human studies suggest that beta cryptosantin rich foods may have an anabolic effect on bone and thus may help delay osteoporosis let me discuss flavonoids flavonoids are a class of pigments which are found in colorless to purple hues their color depends on type of pigment its derivative and ph many flavonoids in plants can be classed into three categories anthocyanins anthocyanins and condensed tannins best sources of flavonoids are apples bananas blueberries peaches strawberries orange watermelon grapefruit lemons cherries pears plums and raspberries anthocyanins are found in the cell vacuole most anthocyanins are found in flowers and fruits but some of the anthocyanins are also found in leaves stems and roots in these parts they are found predominantly in outer cell layers just such as the epidermis and peripheral mesophyll cells anthocyanins are the pigments found in cell vacuoles they are water soluble their hues vary from red purple to blue as per ph of the medium they belong to a parent class of molecule called flavonoids they are odorless and nearly flavorless contributing to taste is a moderately astringent anthocyanins are derived from anthocyanins by adding sugars anthocyanins serves different functions in different parts of plant in flowers bright reds and purples are meant to attract pollinators in fruits the colorful skin serves the function of pollination by attracting the attention of animals in leaves and sometimes stems anthocyanins works as sunscreen is they protect cells from high light damage by absorbing blue green and ultraviolet thereby protecting the tissues from photo inhibition or high light stress in photosynthesis nearly 2% of all hydrocarbons fixed are converted into flavonoids and their derivatives anthocyanins are one of them more than 550 different anthocyanins are found in nature anthocyanins are ph sensitive pigments they change from red in acid to blue in bases this property of anthocyanins is used to test ph of different medias and they are often used as ph indicators fruits are rich in anthocyanins the fruits of vaccinium species such as blueberry cranberry and bilberry raspberries including black raspberry red raspberry and blackberry black currant and cherry are best sources of anthocyanin in our diet red fleshed peaches and apples also contain anthocyanins although anthocyanins have antioxidant properties in vitro this antioxidant effect is not conserved after the plant is consumed as they are poorly conserved as most of the absorbed anthocyanin is converted into chemically modified metabolites that are rapidly excreted let we come to anthocyanins anthocyanin pigment is a flavonoid and is similar to anthocyanin but it exists in less oxidized state as the oxygen on the central group is uncharged there are many varieties of anthocyanins in fruits chief of them are flavones flavonols and flavonones 
the anthocyanins are glycosides they yield one or two molecule of monosaccharides and a flavon or flavon derivatives on boiling with dilute acid and anthocyanins are water soluble pigments which range in color from white or colorless to a creamy to yellow hue being whiter in an acidic media and yellowed in an alkali media similar to anthocyanins they are also susceptible to color changes with minerals and metal ions like all flavonoids they also ex exhibit antioxidant properties and are important in nutrition and are sometimes used as food additives they have more variety than anthocyanins let us dis discuss condensed tannins condensed tannins are polymers found by the formed by the condensation of anthocyanin flavones they do not contain sugar residue they are formed from a glycons condensed tannins are also known as pro anthocyanidins they are oligomer or polymer of flavonoid units condensed tannins are abundantly found in fruits and food products they are responsible for the astringency and color of fruits the content tannin content of fruit is mainly affected by the environmental conditions of the cultivation area as well as the degree of ripening of the plants furthermore the tannin content might also be influenced influenced by the storage and processing conditions of fruits most berries such as cranberries strawberries and blueberries contain both hydrolyzable and condensed tannins while many hydrolyzable tannins and most condensed tannins are water soluble several tannins are also highly octanol soluble some large condensed tannins are insoluble their biological functions are affected as per difference in their solubilities the last pigment of fruits is betaine betaines are found in plants of the caryophyllas they are a class of red and yellow indole derived pigments which replace anthocyanin pigment they are most often noticeable in the petals of flowers but may color the fruits leaves stems and leaves of the plants they include pigments such as those found in the beets the name betaine comes from the latin name of the common bee from which betaines were first extracted thus we have seen different fruit pigments which provides not only color but along with nutrition their phytochemical reactions are important for human health thank you